Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In today's review we have a truly fascinating piece of hardware and I'm sure you'll be interested to find out more about it as there haven't been any reviews on it. So let's dive in. M5 Stack Core S3 is no longer just a development board. It's full-fledged platform that blows your mind with the amount of built-in peripherals. Let's first talk about its internals, look at the main chip and go over the peripherals and the possibilities they offer. The heart of Core S3 is the ASP32S3FN8 chip, a dual-core 32-bit processor running at 240 MHz, specially designed for IoT projects. In terms of memory, it has 512 KB of built-in RAM plus 8 MB of pseudo-static external memory, as well as 16 MB of flash storage. As for connectivity, it supports Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz and Bluetooth 5 Low Energy. The system supports a huge number of interfaces, which you can see on the screen now. I'm sure that you heard something about ESP32 CAM or SP32 Pico. Is there a significant difference between the different ESP32 variants? And the answer is yes, there is significant difference. Each variant comes with its own set of tools and optimized libraries, which we then use to solve specific tasks. So, what are the main differences between ESP32 S3 and other ESP32 chip series? First, supports vector instructions making it the best in the series for artificial intelligence and machine learning applications. Second, it supports more external pseudostatic memory, which allows handling larger datasets. Third, USB OTG, making it very versatile for interacting with other devices. And number four, expanded peripherals for graphics work, display output and camera handling. Okay, now that we covered the heart of Core S3, Let's move on to its other components and explore what M5 stack engineers have packed into this compact device. Let's go through the list. LTR553 ALS WA, a digital light and proximity sensor, located on the front panel of the device. JC0308 camera module, a 640 to 480 pixel camera sensor with good image quality, thanks to 10-bit ADC that's capable of outputting clean 30 FPS. BMM150, a digital magnetometer developed by Bosch, designed for measuring magnetic fields and used for determining the device's orientation in space. BMI270, an advanced 6-axis internal measurement unit, EMU, developed by Bosch. It combining a 3-axis accelerometer for measuring acceleration and 3-axis gyroscope measuring angular velocity. BM8563, a real-time clock module designed for precise time tracking. There is also sound amplifier with 1 watt speaker. I'm sorry Dave, I'm afraid I can't do that. And separate audio codec for capturing sound from two microphones. On the side there is a micro SD card slot. The power management is handled by AXP2101 chip. If you like this controller and you want to purchase one, use the link in the description. What is the essence of Core Series? The concept lies in the name of manufacturer M5 Stack. The core is 5 to 5 cm in size. Depending on the task, we can combine different bases, and this is the stack. The latest added element is placed first, like a stack of books. So why all these features in such a form factor? This device is positioned as a development board for IoT devices, a base for various DIY and custom projects, a smart home controller, and controller for industrial automation and agriculture automation. There is a wide range of bases for this device, as well as many units for connecting peripherals to the side ports. The Core S3 package comes with a base for mounting on a wall or DIN rail. This base also expands the number of ports for connecting peripherals from 1 to 3, and it allows the connection of power supply with voltage from 
9 volts to 24 volts. Now that we covered the hardware, let's talk about how to program it. The Arduino IDE, the Timeless Classic. In the board manager, we need to install the full package for the Core S3. We connect the device to the computer, select the COM port and then connect it Core S3. And start exploring and modifying the examples. On the GitHub link in the description, there are sketches for working with the mentioned sensors. You should go through them and then combine them to solve your tasks. UIFlow2 is a graphical development environment where you can create applications for M5 products using MicroPython. One of the advantages is the convenient screen editor, which is great for developing UIs. You can develop with blocks or write code in MicroPython in a special tab. This environment still feels a bit raw, but judging by the updates, it's actively being improved. You can also develop using the platform I.O. extension for VCS code. When you create any project, select M5 Core S3 in the board tab. Don't forget that you can install applications from M5 Burner, which provides ready-made firmware. One of them is M5 Launcher, which allows you to easily change firmware by installing them from a microSD card or directly via Wi-Fi. In my opinion, this controller has a wide range of applications. If the built-in peripherals aren't enough, the base or unit modules can help fill in the gaps. For example, the LoRa 470 module allows you to send messages without an internet or mobile connection between two modules at a distance of up to 15 km in line of sight and 2 to 5 in urban environments. I now have two such modules and will definitely test them and see how they perform. I also want to point out the base with Ethernet port because you can't always rely on wireless solutions. Wired solutions are still more reliable. The M5 Stack Core S3 can solve monitoring and controlling tasks in your server room, switchboard, farm or production environment. It's a kind of transitional element between hobbies and professional solutions. A true building block, constructor that was a creative approach, can solve both hobbies tasks and areas tasks in industries and fields. I also think software developers might be interested in such hardware, as you can create your own IoT system without developing your own hardware by choosing a ready-made, well-built product. There is also a smaller version of this controller, the Core S3 SE. It's cheaper and doesn't have the camera with proximity and light sensors, as well as the BMM150 and BMI270 modules and the DIN rail base, but everything else is the same. I think this is a very interesting controller and I have many ideas for videos with it. First, we will test it with the LoRa modules check the actual transmission range. And to make sure you don't miss anything, please subscribe and press like on this channel. It's been Arthur from Hobby Support Channel and I'll see you soon in the next video.